So, in today's Doken Battle video, I'm going to go ahead and show off the god that is Vegito Blue. Obviously, um, I made a video dedicated to Vegito Blue when he initially came out on Global. And basically, what I did in that video is go over his um, potential like damage and, of course, his potential tanking uh, capabilities on specific leads. I did um, a double Vegito Blue lead, double Goki Black, and then I did Broly and Goki Black, and obviously double Broly. So... Um, he was capable of tanking on a double black lead, and that's obviously expected because his defensive stat is going to be pretty damn high, and obviously when you take into account his damage reduction, it will allow him to tank, and pardon me, obviously with Goki Black debuffs, he is more than capable of tanking without any problems, but today, we are going to be showing off Vegito Blue, the blue god on a double Super Saiyan 3 Goten clean, and I've been fortunate enough to pull him, and I am going to just show like how good my Vegito Blue is in the ability system. Thankfully, I managed to pull two more deeps. So his defensive stat has been increased by 3,600. So obviously, the more buffs he gets, the more you know, the better he's going to be at taking hits. So I'm going to be showing him uh, off today, and hopefully, I will be able to show you guys why he could potentially be a top five unit. And I know that may be a bit far stretch, but trust me, like after using this guy. And the reason why I'm at this stage now is because I lost the footage, or the footage just didn't record. Um, the reason, like, after using him for that period of time, he is honestly, like, just a beast. And, of course, I will show you, like I said, like, just now. Um, there are certain scenarios where, like, admittedly, where his tanking capabilities aren't that well, and that is where he has a type of advantage. But apart from that, honestly, it's perfectly fine. I did try it against the Super Saiyan 4 Goku stage, and he was tanking for around 12k, which honestly isn't too bad, considering that he does have a type of advantage, so... At the moment, it kind of seems like if he doesn't have a type of advantage, he is easily capable of to, like um, tanking everything. And of course, because we do take on STR Cell during this specific stage, um, I will be able to show that off. And obviously, during this first stage, we aren't going to have any problem super attacking. And um, to quickly talk, talk about his damage, is um, without taking crits into account, his um, oh boy, okay, so his potential damage can be like with four super attacks, his damage can be around. Let's see. He's actually be around maybe just over 2 million. That's if he gets all four super attacks. And um, if he gets all four super attacks with Pan on the field. So this Pan in particular. Obviously it's the only Pan in my team actually. Um, if this Pan is on the field as well. And she um, by the way gives a 30% attack and defensive boost. When she is on the field with Vegito Blue. Um, his attack stat is around 700,000. So um, his potential damage is going to spike up to like 2.8 million with four super attacks. And that's without crit and that's absolutely insane honestly well obviously you have to rely on the fact that you are going to get crit or you know there's amount of super attacks but you're still getting counters in which is freaking great so his potential damage is absolutely insane and this video is just dedicated to vegeto blue because i've always wanted to do, um, to do this i've been waiting for this lead for the longest time it was the hardest to get but i can't complain i finally got him yeah obviously it was the hardest to, um, to get for me and um the fact that I actually get to show him off on this particular team is just, you know, going to be great. So, let's go with this. And this is the moment of truth. So, he typed his advantage. Uh, gonna use a healing item just in case. I don't think Goki Black is gonna be able to debuff, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so, against the perfect cell stage, or STR, perfect cell stage, how well is he going to be able to tank? Unless he doesn't take him out first, we'll see. Um, my Vegito Blue could legit take him out here. Depends if he gets crits or not. Ah, uh, there's the additional. Okay, that's three. Okay, he got the crit. Okay, so, with a type disadvantage, he is taking around 7k damage from STR Perfect Cell. Against, um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he was taking around 12k, so it's expected, right? Um, the damage reduction from his passive isn't that big. Uh, I hope this is fine. The damage reduction from his passive isn't that big, obviously. It's only around 30%. But the fact that his defensive stat um, is this high, and um, obviously when you take into account the damage reduction, he will be able to tank um, for like double digits, um, digits when he has a... Well, when it's just neutral typing, of course. And I will be showing that off um, in the later stages. And honestly, I... Because I'm like so far into this specific boss rush stage, and because this event is easy... I may just go ahead and take on my like, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or some, someone like that. Just, actually, all the Orb events is, is a different day now, so, mm. you know what? I'm going to take on a tougher event just to show um, that he is still good getting the tougher events. But anyway, um, just talk about this guy, and here, here, can't speak. here he is with Pan, and that 30% attack and defensive boost is massive, and of course, 
you still have to um, take into account that she has fierce basketball as well. So, like, this honestly may be one of my favorite teams to run. Am I using the right leads? Um, I'm pretty sure with Pan. Wait, uh, I think she might have a restriction. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I thought so. I was like, wait a minute. Um, that does not seem right. So, yeah. You have, um, well, your health has to be... be uh, her health has to be above 30% for her passive to go off. Here we go. And, honestly, I'd kind of skip that part. So, obviously, when she comes back round, I'll hopefully have enough health to show you pace that part. And he should definitely be dead this turn. I'll be very surprised if he survives this. And obviously, the 12 super attack is... Um, oh, I've got the additional as well. Sweet. Um, I forgot what to say now. But, yeah. Um, keep in mind that this video is just dedicated to Vegeta Oblu. Blue. I'll be going over the years like Goten in the coming days, of course, in my SSR analysis video. Honestly, that may be coming out today, depending on what day it is. And I'm glad that I can actually, like, schedule these videos... Because I just have like so many freaking ideas now for like you know a bunch of different videos. That, you know it's great, and I'm excited to make these videos for you guys. So against this specific stage, he's basically taking extra no damage with a type of advantage. But keep, um, keep in mind that here he is going to be taking like not that much damage anyway because this stage doesn't tend to hit that hard. So let's see if we can get a crit here. And um, okay, no crit. That's fine. So yeah, I mean not that much damage. And to be honest, we covered that with um, the physical type balls that you pick up. And my Goten is currently at Super Attack 3, by the way. Okay, I'm, I've got a tech dupe, so I may actually go ahead and phrase a Super Attack with that one. I don't really care for the tech type. I just don't really care for mono tech at the moment, to be honest. Okay, so, uh, go put Pan in that last slot. And I don't know if this is... I don't think this is Talon's Goten, but shout out to everyone at me as always. I appreciate you guys. Oh, I appreciate all of you. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Okay. So he's definitely going to turn, and then uh, it's the end type, I believe. Well, I'm not wrong, so he is dead this turn. He's just actually insane. Like, how good is this Gotenks? In before this, like, turns into, like, a 100% Shoyo's video. Yeah, like, halfway through, yeah, um, 100%. Um, oh. Okay, so we just got pretty lucky then. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid a Dokimo at all costs. Actually, I don't think that would be a Dokimo, so let's go for it. Sweet. So, oh, thank god he didn't super attack me. Type advantage. Okay, let, let's be real. That's expected. Type advantage. Absolutely no problems. I'm going to take on cooler stage after this and show you guys that you can tank against every single stage there. Obviously, you can't tank super attacks. But yeah. Come on. Okay, no Chris, unfortunately. But you can just see how insane he is on this specific team. Especially with, like, the buffs from, like, units like Pan. Please take him out. Please take him out, please take him out. Okay, that is him taken out, and I will see you guys in a few moments. Okay, so for this event in particular, I'm going to do a Riku and just like roll my sleeves up. Flexing fam. Ugh! So this is the Riku celebration. Like, I am sure that most of you are familiar with it. I, don't, I will try to maybe remember to link the video down below. So yeah, we're flexing now. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay, that just happened. So I think the um, flexing kind of killed my phone, but anyway. Let's carry on. I had to wait a while for my phone to recharge, of course, and honestly, I know this is a new phone and everything, but I don't know. It just seems like it's going to be persistent with the whole my battery thing. You know what? I respect that. It respects my authorizations, of course. So, uh, I'm going to take out the first stage without any problems, of course, and maybe we can get an additional attack. Is this mine? No, I don't think it's mine. My one doesn't hit this hard. Get super attacks back, of course. Okay, so yeah, I did focus, um, focus on the GSO Blue and, you know, Blue System, clearly. And I am honestly happy that I managed to pull two loops of them. Okay, so we have the Gito boot now. Go. Yeah, and the biggest test, like, I want to be as fair as possible, right? Like, when I'm showcasing this guy, I wish that I didn't have the ability system buff just to show how good he is. Um, without any, of course. So, with ability system buffs, no doubt, he is still an incredible unit. And, uh, as soon as we get onto that cooler stage, it will basically be the deciding factor whether he can tank against the newer stages when, you know, it's a neutral type versus some of the older stages. And... He was bad. Uh, what the hell? That is so annoying. 
Yeah, the key didn't fall the way that I wanted it to. Wait, Gotenks can super attack early anyway, so it's cool. And I believe that this Gotenks can take him out. Yeah, I'll be very surprised if uh, he manages to survive this. Oh yeah, of course they added that part to the super attack enemy. She's still kind of lazy, I mean... It's cool that they added something, but I expected a bit more. I, I'm not going to, like, just compl no, rant about the unit, because it's, you know, it's Bandai, it's Dragon Ball, like, people are just going to keep summoning not matter what, clearly. But, um, I do really feel like they should make some changes. They have the potential to make an incredible, um, incredible game, obviously, and some of you, they just don't. But yeah, there you go. Um, so, like I said before, I don't know if I actually showed it previously, because I kind of forgot, but with Pan, um, his attack size is around 700k, and... He just hits like crazy. He just super damn hard. Super damn hard. Nice choice of words there, Alex. Um, gonna go ahead and use cargo. And then we can move on to the next stage. And I'll most likely be showing... I mean, I know I kind of am now, but I want to do it properly. Um, I want to show off a um, Super Attack 10 Super Saiyan for Gotenks with several of his different buffs. Maybe I can find out a maxed out one. I'm lucky. Who knows? Maybe someone got blessed, and um, instead of pulling, uh, pulling Vegito Blue Dupes, they managed to pull um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Dupes. So he's pretty much dead next turn, and of course we see the Super Attack as well. The moment of truth is coming up. Honestly, well, we're, we're gonna know if he won't. Um, well, we're gonna know how well he tanks against the next stage if he doesn't tank here. Ah. Hmm, so this is a more accurate representation, clearly. Okay, so there it goes. Uh, honestly, still not taking that much damage, but we have to be fair here, right? Okay, we can use this. We can use the Yammer that only lasts for one turn. So I get it to the newest stages. It does seem like it takes a bit more damage, but I would imagine that a fully maxed one would honestly have next to no problems. Uh... So I think when he's like completely maxing the ability system, his offensive stat is like 9,000 or something along those lines. So he's still quite a bit to go. Well, quite a bit, about a thousand more. So that obviously every little bit does make a difference, but I want to see how much he can tank against this um, specific stage. Obviously, when he has a type advantage, absolutely no problems, um, you know, tanking any hits. But with a type disadvantage, he takes around 7k to 12k. And obviously, against this stage, we're going to see how well we can tank um, you know, neutrally, pretty much. So nothing is active here. I reckon at least 5k, maybe a bit less. Okay, 7k. So that's like the same amount as... Um, what do you call it? That's around the same amount as the STR Perfect Cell stage. Hmm. Interesting. So against the older stages, he literally takes next to no damage, but it just shows you how much the events have evolved. Obviously, he's taking more damage here, but I would imagine with a Goku Black debuff, it honestly wouldn't be a problem. And of course, um, with multiple ability system buffs, like an additional thousand to his attack, he should be able to tank without any problems. But I'm actually glad I um, took on this stage. To be honest, I I'm still pretty happy with it. You can still tank to an extent. Obviously, it does depend on the stage that you are taking on. And the fact that he could take um, around 12k damage from Super Saiyan 4 Goku is freaking insane. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. But, yeah, I hope you guys have a great today as always. And I will see you all in the next one.